it's, it's how we prepare. Um, I'm not one of those coaches that take a light day the day before a game. You know, I, I practice hard the day before a game just to get us ready. Um, and I thought we did that the last two games, the, the last two days, um, getting ready for a game like this. No, nah, just just something he's been doing the whole game and the, the whole year. Um, I've been preaching the whole year since the beginning of the year that I thought I had the best backcourt in, in the Big East, one of the best backcourts in the country. Um, he's playing like a Big East caliber player of the year, um, and this is this is what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to carry us when we need to be carried. No, Dre has been doing that the whole year for us. He's he's kind of been our backbone. Um, anytime I need a big bucket, anytime we need you know some toughness, you know he's you know he's playing out of position. And you know, I'm asked a lot of him. He's go out there and play, and that's you know, and he's been doing that for us, and we need it. It was it was chippy for a reason. I'm leave it like that. It was chippy for a reason, and it, it needed to be chippy. So um, now I knew I knew he was gonna come out and play hard. Um, you no, know, you, you you can't come out and say okay, we don't come out and win. Obviously, you prepare to win. You know, Villanova is a really good team. They're playing very well right now. Um, they got a winning pedigree, right? You got you know a couple guys on the team that played in the Final Four. Um, so you know, but the last two days was how it's been. Before the last road, the last two road trips, um, probably a little bit, a little bit extra sauce with it on it too, um, and that starts at the top, you know. And and, and these guys had to understand, and they understood, and you know now we just got to make sure we come back the next two days and prepare for a good team and try to get my guys to go out high on senior day, right? Um, don't have a letdown um, because in this league anybody could beat anybody, so you can't come out and look at records, so. No, I, I look at every game as a must-win game for us, <laughs> you know, this this time of year. I don't look at it and say, okay, we need to win this game more than that game. Um, obviously, we want to come back and play and play better than we played the last two games on the road, right? Um, it's good to be back home. I thought we had a good crowd. You know, happy, I'm happy that, you know, the crowd came out, um, especially some of the students because it's, it's spring break right now, right? Um, but, you know, I thought they made the difference. And, you know, any time we could get the, a good crowd here is, is always great for us. Well, we you know we wanted to make um, a big thing of taking away the three. Um, you know, I thought the first the first five minutes of the game they came out and hit hit some couple threes. I you know we time out and then you know we kind of you know adjusted and then the first half they had five threes and then halftime we talked about it. Um, we made some adjustments. Um, I don't want to give the game plan away, right? But um, no, nah, you know, just anytime you can stop a team like that from, you know, I just want to contest. I thought for the most part we kind of chased them off the line a little bit, man. We take some tough tools. And that was the kind of goal. What do you make of Jaden's performance today? And has he exceeded expectations Who? for you? Jaden Leon. Uh, did he exceed expectations when he got in the court? Nah, you know, I thought, you know, I've been saying this from day one. Our big guys was going to be okay. Jaden just, just played hard. Jaden understand who, who he is. He's not trying to do things he can't do. Set screens, get offensive rebounds, roll to the basket, we give him some shots, play hard defense. Like, he embraced his role. And when you, when you, when you have a guy who embraced their role, that's what happens. Chicken, did the players make the practices chippy or did you contribute to that? Combination. Combination. Does Elijah have the green light on that three pointer? Uh, Elijah can shoot the basketball. You know, he uh still trying to get his still trying to get his rhythm. Um, you know, I told him, you know, he, you know, you open, shoot it. Um so that was a big shot he made. Um but you know we we gotta get him to start playing better because he he's he's better than what he's showing and I think it just it's all about rhythm and timing with him. Think you can get a little more production from him in the, in the Big East tournament and going forward. I mean, 
Hey, it's, it's, you know, it's how you prepare. And I think, you know, like I, each night somebody else is going to be different, right? Um, hopefully, you know, he, hopefully he continue to keep working hard, which I know he is. And if, if his number is called like that, then so be it. I mean, for me, to tell you the truth, I don't really care about all those accolades. I don't, it don't mean anything. Um, it's just super important that our guys, the young guys understand the next two days is all about making sure the seniors go out right, period. And that's, and that's my mindset. Um, that's going to be their mindset. Um, and as far as 20 wins and all that, game, game by game, step by step, you know. Um, the, the goal was to try to be in the best position we, we could be in this year. Um, Guys fought hard to get us in this position. Um, we still got a lot of basketball to be, to be played. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to answer your call. Um, it's, it's super important, right? Um, you get we, we got an older team, right? Experienced team. Um, and that's why I knew the last couple of days was going to be the way it was going to be. When you got when you got super competitive people, um, as myself as a coach and as those guys, um, you know, when you're taking over a program, right? Especially right now in this crazy time, you know, with the portal and everything else, you now you want to try to get guys in that kind of try to fit, you know, what you're trying to do. You're never going to know if they're going to fit that way because they had somewhere else for three years, so they got to try to get the, you know, that, that out of them. Um, but what was your question? How, how they've helped remake this program. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm, no, I, got, I got a crazy headache right now, fellas. You guys have no idea. I ain't sleeping for three days. Um, they helped. They helped because they came in and, and understood my vision, right? Um, they understood, you know, me, and they put up with a lot of my stuff, you know, I'm demanding when it comes to, you know, defense and practice and stuff like that. Um, so mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't really look at. When I took over the program, you know, everybody didn't understand it. It, 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 was, it was a rebuild, and everybody wanted to win right away. Right? I never talked about a rebuild. I never talked about any of that. I just go out there and just coach. Um, but for us to be in the position we're in right now, it's a credit to those young men in the locker room. But it, it, what it's funny because you know everybody in 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 the preseason, everybody's worrying about all these new guys that everybody else is getting, and they never talk about trying to keep guys on their, on their own team, right? And now because a team have a little bit of success, now everybody oh they got three guys that was here, uh, no one cared about that in August and and July, but now that's a story because guys is playing well. I think it's super important. I mean look at all the teams that that kept guys. Right, and then have to bring in six, seven, eight new guys. Like, look at Marquette. That's why they like that. UConn and and the, the team Crayon, right? Um, you know, so obviously you gotta try to work hard. You gotta try to re-recruit your guys. <laughs> you know, you gotta try to re-recruit your guys. Um, those three guys believed in my vision, and believed in what I was selling and then talking about. And you know, they came back, and you know, we got work to do. All right, thank you.